A lot of you guys prefer AMD laptops over Intel ones, so when AMD sent us these three new laptops, we decided why not show it to you guys. These are the laptops I'm talking about, the new HP Envy X360, the Lenovo Yoga 6, and the Dell Inspiron 40. Now, the common thing among these laptops are that they are powered by AMD's 5000 U series chipsets, which are aimed at ultra thin laptops, and these have all launched this year in 2022. I know AMD 6000 series chipsets are also coming later this year and we will be covering that but these are new AMD 5000 U powered laptops so let's see how they perform. Yeah, let's not waste any more time and let's talk about the specs. The Dell Inspiron 14 and the Lenovo U6 come with the AMD 5700U chipset which is a 7 nanometer chipset with 8 cores and 16 threads with a max clock speed of 4.3 GHz. When it comes to GPU, it has Radeon graphics with 8 cores. The HP NVX 360 is powered by the AMD Ryzen 5 5600U, which is also a 7 nanometer chipset with 6 cores and 12 threads, and it can go up to 4.2 GHz. And on the GPU front, it has the radio graphics with 7 cores. Apart from this, the Ryzen 5000 U series chipsets also bring a lot of new features. There's the new Zen 3 cores for better performance, the battery is set to be better than even the last gen, there's bigger L3 cache support, and the Radeon GPU is set to be improved too. Overall, the main USB behind Ryzen 5000 U series is their combo of performance, battery life, and portability. Let's talk about the performance first. So let's start by comparing the Ryzen 5000 U chipsets to Intel's 11th Gen U series chipsets. As you can see, the Ryzen 7 5700U has the more efficient 7 nanometer architecture and it has more cores and more threads and it takes lesser power. The Core i7-1165G7 chipset has the faster clock speed but overall the Ryzen 7 5700U is better. The same is the case with Ryzen 5 5600U versus the Core i5-1135G7. The AMD chipset has the edge in terms of power efficiency as well as the number of cores and threads. We ran some benchmarks and the scores are pretty good. First up, the 5700U. Here are its Cinebench single core score and this is the multi-core score. Now here's the Geekbench score now. We also ran Puget Bench Photoshop test where the 5700U laptops did well and this score shows that this can handle apps like Photoshop without any issues. Now here are the 5600U benchmarks and yeah, these scores are good too. Benchmarks apart, these laptops have good real-world performance. We generally use these laptops on battery because the battery life is really good and I'll get to that in a bit. But the point is, we tested these laptops as a work laptop one by one. Now our general usage includes lots of Chrome tabs, video playback, image editing and all of these AMD powered laptops handle this use case without any issues. For example, here's the Lenovo Yoga 6 with 10 Chrome tabs open two 4K videos playing in the background and image open in Photoshop, File Explorer also open and two benchmark apps open Geekbench 5 and PC Mark 10. If we check the CPU usage now, it's just 20 to 25%, which is awesome really. The RAM usage is also not much. In fact, all these laptops are near identical when it comes to daily tasks and even intensive usage. The AMD chips handle casual and intense load without any problems and I like that none of the laptops have any heating issues. Plus, all of these laptops come with Windows 11 on board and the software seems optimized on the AMD 5000U series. Now, remember I told you that the Radeon graphics has been improved too? Well, it shows because these laptops can handle some casual gaming. See, these are not gaming laptops, but the Radeon graphics plays older games like CSGO and Portal 2 without problems and even delivers 60 plus FPS, which is outstanding for such thin and light laptops. This is great, especially for students and professionals who want to do some light gaming along with their usual tasks. Another big factor here is the good heat management, which means there was little to no heat buildup while gaming or even doing intensive tasks on these laptops. The next big USB of 5000 U series chipsets is the battery life, and that's another area where these laptops are very impressive. We did a real world test. We took the Lenovo Yoga 6, charged it to 100% and started using it as a daily drive of work laptop. Now do note that the performance by default is set to balanced. Now we use the laptop throughout the day with lots of Chrome tabs, multiple apps, you know the usual work usage and at the end of the day, the laptop still had 35% battery left. In terms of time, the laptop survived a little more than 7 hours on a single charge and in theory, it could still go on for 2 or more hours. That is amazing battery life and that is majorly due to AMD's power management in these chipsets. Since these are low TDP chips, they consume less power while performing all the same. The third USB is obviously the portability. All of these laptops are 2-in-1 so you can just flip them 360 and use them as a tablet. And this whole design works because they all follow a slim and lightweight design philosophy. The HP NV is 16mm slim and only weighs 1.3 kgs. The Dell Inspiron weighs 1.6 kgs and is also 16mm slim. The Lenovo Yoga 6 is slightly thicker at 18mm but weighs only 1.3 kgs. Coming to the build, they all have a metal chassis and I like how they look. The Dell and HP laptop have metal lids which look premium, but the Lenovo laptop definitely stands out with its unique denim-like texture on the lid. So overall, these laptops are actually interesting 2-in-1 laptops and the highlight, obviously, is the AMD Ryzen 5000U chipset. 
I mean, these AMD chipsets bring portability, very good performance with very, very good battery life, which I think is very important in ultra thin laptops. But I want to know from you guys, what do you think of these AMD powered laptops? Which side are you on, AMD or Intel? Comment down below. Also give this video a like if you found it useful and share it with people who have been looking for AMD laptops. And yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon. See you in the next one. Mobile gamers, basically BGMI or Apex players. This is a pocket-friendly phone cooler with any phone.